the Ebola virus by Archie Favre. What is the Ebola virus? The Ebola virus disease, formerly known as Ebola, hemorrhagic fever, is a rare but severe, often fatal illness, with a death rate of up to 90% in humans caused by the Ebola virus, a member of the phylovirus family. Death rates have varied from 25% to 90% in past outbreaks. The Ebola virus was first identified in 1976 when two simultaneous outbreaks occurred, one in Yambaku, a village not far from the Ebola River in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the other in a remote area of Sudan. Pathogen name. The pathogen name is Phylovirid virus, along with Marburg virus or Marv. Together they are commonly known as EBOV, is a virulent pathogen that causes fatal hemorrhagic fever in humans and primates. Ebola symptoms. High fever, hot face and runny nose, headache, pain in the brain, joint and muscle aches, pain in your joints and muscles, arms, legs, etc. Sore throat, hurting when you drink, swallow food or drink, so drinking water or eating bread or something, weakness, fatigue, tired, stomach pain, ache, pain in the stomach, lack of appetite, not wanting to eat. Up here are the eight, or the image here is the eight reasons or symptoms that you should watch out for. Fever, tiredness, headache, nausea, vomiting, coughing, all that stuff. Here's a short clip of how the Ebola virus can kill a human cell. You can see it starts off here and makes its way through through the bloodstream. And you see these are the human cells that it's coming into contact with. This is what the Ebola virus cell looks like. It's kind of like a like a little stick almost. It enters the human cell and practically causes the human cell to explode and just eats it alive. It's just just goes boom. Yeah, that's how it works. How can you become infected? A bowl can be caught through animals, whether that's from markets like butchering, cooking, or eating the animal that's infected. You can also catch this virus from the fluids of the infected person, for example, blood or water. You can also get the Ebola virus from an open wound that the infected host can carry over and get into your bloodstream. Treatment for Ebola. Although there is no treatment for Ebola, the, the Ebola virus, but medical staff are using methods like supportive care, rehydration with oral or intravenous fluids and treatment of specific symptoms improve survival. Another method is blood products, immune therapy and drug therapy. Stats. Up the top left corner here, you can see the main places that are infected. Places like Guinea, Syria, Leon, and Liberia. On the top left here, you can see how truly bad it is. And it's actually, it doesn't look like much, but it's spread very far over the countries. At the bottom here, on March 14th to September 14th, there was little to no spike. And on November 14th, the spike of almost 3,500 New cases of Ebola and slowly peak back down. The Ebola virus likes to stay in summer. Ways it can be prevented. People can protect themselves from the infection with Ebola virus following specific infection prevention and control measures. These include hand washing, avoiding contact with the bodily fluids of individuals who are suspected of or confirmed to have Ebola, and refraining from handling or preparing bodies of persons who are suspected of or confirmed to have died from Ebola. Thank you for listening to my presentation of how Ebola works and how it can overtake you and pretty much kill you. Thank you.